good morning and afternoon. Thanks for tuning in for a new video. I am Brian. Uh, today I am going to be doing a split cup straight pour. I'm using this particular tennis shoe from Asics. I love this tennis shoe so, so much. And um, so I looked at it and I was like, wow, I could really use those colors as inspiration. And as you know, I'm trying to use objects outside of my studio for color inspiration for painting. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this one. So let's get down on the canvas and let's get started. I'll be right back. Hey guys, so what I've got today is a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. I'm repurposing this canvas because I wasn't crazy about the outcome. So I'm going to paint over top of it. So let's talk about the colors real quick. Today I am using Pebeo Studio Acrylics in the blue red, or red blue I believe it's called, iridescent. Amsterdam in the titanium white. Amsterdam in the oxide black. And then I'm using Deco Art in the ice blue and I mix some Prussian blue with it. My pouring medium is mixed pour today. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour each color in the four chamber cup that I have here. I'm gonna start with the blue on the outside chamber. red. And then on this outside chamber over here, I'm going to do red. And blue. And then I am going to do black This side, I'm going to do white. And black. All right, now I'm going to pour into some white here in the center. Do a straight pour, and we'll start off low and then come up high. Loving these effects, beautiful.
All right, let's open this up and then figure out which corner we're gonna anchor first.
All right, I am gonna leave it right here. Cells are slowly popping up through here, which I'm digging. I'm gonna clean up my edges and I'm gonna get the corners because I've got corners that aren't covered over here and on this side over here. So let me clean up the edges and then I'm gonna bring you guys in. Really digging this. The colors kind of pick up the same color pattern in the shoes, but it's a little more pinkier, but I still think it, it definitely brings in the family colors. So I'm happy with this. What I'm really happy with is those white fingerling boulders right there in the center, just really cool. Reminds me of kind of like how Sarah Mack gets her big old white cells and when she does her uh, straight pours. It's not quite like that, but it reminds me of it. So, all right, let me bring you in here up close. All right, we'll see this when it's dry. I'll be right back. Well, guys, and just like that, we now have snow again. Yikes. Winter is here, whether we want it or not. It's my little baby down there. All right, so let me show you the dried result of the piece. It is beautiful. Sorry it's so dark, but I can't put it out in the actual snow or else it's gonna mess up the paint. Okay, that's gonna do it for today's video. I love the piece. I love this coloring, really beautiful. It got a little more pink down, more cherry color. So it kind of uh, matches that photo. But you know, I'm just using those uh, photos for color inspiration. They don't need to be exactly it, but it dried really great. I love the composition to it. So very happy with these. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. Have a great what's left of the weekend. And I wanna also wish my friend Mina a very happy belated birthday. Her birthday was on Friday. All right, everyone, see you next time. Bye-bye.